In this video, I'm gonna show you my little trick on how I use iMovie, which is the free video editing software I use on an Apple, and how I use that software to edit and a video and how I sync up the audio that I'm recording on this nice microphone and sync it up with the audio I'm collecting from my Canon G7X. And this is my whole setup, how I record my video podcast. I don't like to use all the fancy stuff. I don't wanna buy a fancy camera that has the audio input and do all the crazy things. And so this is my trick of how I make sure I get really great audio pretty decent video quality and I sync it up inside of iMovie and make my editing super simple. So let's go inside of the computer. Okay, now we are inside of my computer and I'm gonna show you how I use iMovie to sync the audio and the video that I just recorded separately. So I'm gonna go into my little filing system here and find that video and those files. So I have the video file here and I have the audio file right here. Now on my computer, QuickTime does record the audio originally in this AIFC format, which I don't really know what that means. And so I just convert it by opening it up in Apple Music and I just convert it by selecting the file and hitting convert to MP3. So that's the way I got the MP3 version if you are curious. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in the video file and then I'm gonna drag in the audio file right below it. So you'll be able to see these here. All right, so you can see that they're obviously not perfectly gonna be aligned. So you can see like really I start talking right about here. Yeah, so you can hear that the audio coming out of the camera just isn't as good. And so what we wanna do is we wanna line up these two sections together. So I'm gonna go in here and separate these, cut those, the same thing up here. Get rid of that little bit and then we're gonna scooch these forward. Now normally, I forgot to do it this time, but I would do a clap so that the audio would have shown up this little spike. But I forgot to do that, But so normally I would. But you can see right here, we can kind of tell close as I can get, so apologies. But so you can see sort of right there, that's where that hits in terms of the peak of that section. So I'm just gonna trim this little guy a little bit, try to get these to line up and see how this sounds. In this video, I'm gonna show you my little trick on how I use iMovie. Yeah, that's pretty close, right? Let's make the video quiet. So we'd bring that volume all the way down and then let's play it again and see what this looks like. In this video, I'm gonna show you my little trick on how I use iMovie. That's pretty close, that's pretty close, y'all. So at this point, I would go and I'd say, okay, that's pretty good. It's all synced up. You can see how the end, you know, it's obviously gonna be different. I would drag this in so we wouldn't have a ton of extraneous stuff. And then I'm gonna go up here to the right-hand corner and I'm gonna say export file. So from here, it says the format is video and audio, or I could just do the audio. Well, we already have that version, so I don't need to do that. So what I'm gonna do is gonna do video and audio. I'm gonna do the best resolution I can get and better quality just because I want the output to be as good as possible. 1080p is perfect, and so we're gonna do next. So I would save it to my computer and then I would re-import that video into my video. All right, rename this to Sync Video Audio iMovie Combo. We'll call it Combo. <laughs> I have another name for it. Okay, and so this is what I named the file so I know that that's the new version. And there we go. So now that, that is going to render. It's going to take a couple of minutes. And it's just a few more seconds. All right, now that is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come in here and delete these other versions of the file. I'm gonna open my thing again. You'll see that it's right here, the combo movie, boom. Put it back in and now I have one file to edit and manage and we can just listen to it real quick. In this video, I'm gonna show you my little trick on how I use iMovie. There we go. So that, and now I could go in and edit out any of the mistakes I might have made or any 
you know, little edits and, and things to make it more interesting, what have you. But there you go. That's how you sync your audio with your video using iMovie without all the fancy software. Hope this was helpful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more business strategy, tech tips, and all things Kajabi in the future. And I'll see you next time. Bye.